Hi guys, I am Isa and welcome back to Obatech. So, so in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a light bulb using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So you know, just something like this. You can press this on button and it lights up. And you can press the off button and it doesn't light up. So let's just start off with a blank. HTML page. That's better. So now let's get into the code. So I just have these two images in my folder, which are light bulb, uh, so light bulb, and light bulb on. So it represents the light bulb and the light bulbs on. So um, yeah, for some reason they're taking a little bit longer to load than usual. But anyways, let's just generate a document. Then I'll just change the title to light bulb. So it's going to be a button. It's going to say on. And then there's going to be the image. Oh, actually, it's not an image, it's a div. So the div will have the ID of light bulb. And it'll have the class. Uh, off. Well, that will be off. Which means light bulb off. So I'm just gonna, you know, just create the CSS file. Link CSS. And I'm gonna create that style.css file. So, I'm just gonna say. Say hashtag light bulb. So we're gonna say hashtag light bulb. Let's start with that hashtag light bulb. It's gonna be an obvious width and height. The width will be 400 px and the height will be 500 px. So and then just gonna add a background or something, and that's gonna be a URL. I just the URL to the light bulb. That's his. So I'm gonna write URL lightbulb.png, and let's just reload up the file. And we have this on switch and a light bulb. So let's just you know. I'm gonna just add some JavaScript to this because I mean it's, it's missing its functionality. The button doesn't do anything. It's just, it's just there. So let's add a script source. It's gonna be script.js and that part doesn't exist. So again, we're just gonna create it as usual. So that's the script of JS. So I'm going to say um what on BTN. Actually I'm gonna use const this time. Const on BTN is gonna be equal to the document dot get element by ID. BTN. And now I haven't added that BTN ID. But I mean, come on, we're gonna do it later. So, I'm just gonna paste that in. And we're gonna replace that with white bulb. So, that's gonna be a document of that element by ID. White bulb. And. Now we just have, you know, near light bulb. Also, I'm just gonna take this background URL lightbulb.png and put it in a dot lb off. So only the off bulbs are gonna have that off image. So back to the back to the script. 
I am just going to add this BTN ID that we are referring to JavaScript in the JavaScript code. So I'm going to say on BTN dot add event listener quick. So if that on BTN quick, something's going to happen. Let's do arrow functions once again. And it ends up lines with semicolons. Uh, just the usual JavaScript stuff. So anyways, it starts here. I'm gonna say class is equal to LB on. And now let's just reload on and boom, the light bulb has disappeared from existence. But uh, let's change that. Go back to your style.css. Say that will be on. Background. It'll be a URL once again. Light bulb. On. PNG. And let's press the on button. Now we've got to use that bright shining light bulb. Even though it's not really going to shine in that black of a sink background. So, let's just add a body tag. And we're going to add a background of, I don't know, hmm, 0, 1, 2. 0, 1, 2. Uh, good, now it has a blue background. And now because she's a shining light properly. Yeah, but let's just, you know, add a bit of styling onto our scene. So we've got to say display grid. The reason why is because I want this light bulb to be on the right side of the screen, the on button to be on the left side of the screen, and yeah, that's not really be possible without grid. So look, the on button has stretched its way out. So I'm just gonna so go to this hashtag light bulb. Can you say grid? Column two. In here, I'm going to say grid template columns two and grid template rows will be one. And there. Now it's like that. The on button's there and the light bulb's there. Let me just. Open the dev tools. So yeah, well, everything's you know. So yeah, well, everything's you know. It's in their places that they were supposed to be in. I'm also going to add another button. So, I'm going to add another button, which is going to say off. And this class is going to be BTN2 instead of that ordinary BTN. And we have the on off button. So, let's go back to VS Code. Yep. And I'm going to say BTN. Grid colon one. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be dot btn. So grid column will be one. The grid row will be one. And just like that, nothing really happens. So 
I'm gonna add some styling to the other video. But yeah, also before that, I'm just gonna change the grid template rows to two. And you know, since that it doesn't really fit two BTMs, so beat the BTM two with column one with row will be two. So I'm just change this to hashtag BTM since you know the BTMs are ID, it's not classes. Yeah, so now it works. But yeah, that off button is still a tool, you know, off. But I mean we're gonna fix that later. So we're just gonna go to the light bulb, say grid row spare two. And there. You see that the on and the off buttons are correctly aligned. So now we change the style of the buttons. So we're gonna say button, you know, to, to indicate both of the buttons together. I'm gonna say background purple font size, you know, like I kind know, of 40px. And there. I'm gonna be like border none and the margin 20px. And if we click on them, nothing happens. So to fix that issue, I'm gonna say button hover. So in the button side the button hover, it's going to so yeah, before we're working with the button hover, I'm just gonna set the font size to 60 and add the color of black. Yeah, add the color of white. Color of white. So the button hovers, I'm gonna have a background of uh, now indigo. And now if you hover over them, they have a better background. So I'm also gonna add a transition. It's three seconds. Now they have a smoother transition. So now we have to make the off button actually function. So I'm gonna just paste some code. Say off BTN. And this will say LB off. And so I'm just gonna say const off btn is equal to document dot get element by id btn2 and also let me just then I'll add some semicolons or something on off on off on off now we have a flickering uh like both because we're on and off so uh, yeah, that's the end of today's tutorial. If you enjoyed something, like and subscribe. So bye.